Hello and welcome. So Michael here and I'll be your guide on all things EFT. So in this video I wanted to answer a very common question I've been getting about the EFT training. And that question goes like, I'm practicing already as a massage therapist or an acupuncturist or a naturopath. How can I incorporate EFT into what I already do? So this is the question. And unfortunately, there's not really a simple or easy answer to this because there's many factors to consider. Right? And this is what I came across personally as well. So I was practicing as an acupuncturist many years ago. I came across EFT and I started bringing it into the practice you know, as an experiment to see if it was effective, etc. And I did face some of these challenges that I'm going to speak of now. The first challenge and the first thing to consider is what is the client's expectations? So if someone has booked in for a one hour massage, you know, they said, I want a one hour massage, you advertise yourself as I give massage. Then they come along and then for the, for the next, for the first half an hour, you're getting them to do something else. You're getting them to go for a run around the block or, you know, do EFT with them. And so they're not expecting that to happen. You know, they've got pre, you know, loaded, and that's what they're paying for, right? That's what the message was, that's what they've bought, that's the expectation. So you can't really, you know, make them do other things than what they're expecting. So when it comes to client expectations, it really comes down to your messaging in your business and your branding as to who you are and what you do. Using that example again, if you say you're a massage therapist and I just do massage, you're very limited in what you can offer, right? Because everyone's expecting massage. But if your messaging is more like, you know, I can help you lose 20 pounds in three weeks, or, you know, I'm a back pain specialist and I can get rid of back pain in, you know, a month. See, that messaging is more results focused. You're focusing on what is the outcome what are they, what is the client expecting? They just want the result. And if your messaging is like that, they don't even know sometimes what it is that you're going to do with them. They just come, they've got a basic idea about what you do, but their main thing they're focusing on is the result. So if your messaging is result focused, it's a lot easier to bring in EFT and different modalities into what, whatever you're doing because the client is just going for the result. And they will do whatever is necessary, you're the expert, to get to the result. Okay? So it's largely a business thing, it's in your messaging. If you say, I'm an acupuncturist and I do acupuncture, they're going to expect acupuncture only, right? It's going to be hard to bring other things in. But if you say, I'm a back pain specialist and I get rid of back pain, you're focusing on the result. So the client doesn't really know or have preloaded um, ideas about what you're going to do. So you've got more room to try new things, see? So that's the first thing is messaging. And I cover this a lot more in the EFT training that I offer because it's really important to know how to talk about what you do, whether to focus on results, how to specialize, and, and all these things. So this is a, a very important thing to understand. So that's the first issue. And the second issue is time management. Now, if you're already practicing, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about because usually you've got like one hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes with a client and you've got, you know, so much knowledge and skill. How are you going to do all that stuff in one hour, right? If it's the first time they've got to fill in forms, they've got to do a, a consult, you've got to talk to them, you've got to diagnose if that's in your um, practice. Then you've got to treat and then you've got a 10 minutes on the end where you've got to get them all dressed or you know, get them off the table, settle them down, give them prescription exercises or something like that. So there's a lot going on just in this one hour. And to try and implement EFT or different modalities is challenging. And so how are you going to do it with time management? Right? One way you can do it with time management is maybe just do a five, ten minute max EFT tap somewhere in the beginning stages. So after you've consult, You've got an idea of what their issue is, then you do like a 10 minute tap with them to help calm them down essentially. Then you do the, 
the treatment that you usually do. This, however, it's good, but it's more like just taking the top off the anxiety or calming them down and then applying the treatment. So it's not the primary treatment, right? That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is, again, it comes back to the messaging and how you talk about what you do, is if you have multiple sessions with the client, say five or six sessions booked in with the client, you've got time to implement different stages of the treatment. So the first stage is like the consult, assessment, beginning of treatment, right? And then the second one, you might go EFT full focused because you know um, what to do next, right? And, and then the third session, you know something else or the fourth session EFT again. So you've got time to really implement all these different things that you do in an intelligent way. And also the client, what I've noticed is the first session with anything like acupuncture, EFT, is that the client doesn't really know what's, what's going to happen, right? They're kind of nervous, understandably. So that first session is always kind of more of an education, kind of getting them to feel comfortable, building that trust. What usually happens is in the second session is that that's when it goes much deeper because they're more relaxed, they know what to expect. So you really need multiple sessions to even get anywhere with these types of treatments, I found personally anyway. So time management is another issue um, to consider how to do it. So that's the two big issues I wanted to bring up and how to, uh, what to consider. So the first one was client expectations. How, what does the client expect? How's your messaging communicating that? Okay. And the second one is time management. How are you going to fit it in? Right. And so what are the solutions to this? Solutions, personally, I found that it's better to narrow in on a few, like one or two primary modalities, and just stick with that. It's better to be an expert at a few things than try to be an expert at all things because there's too many things going on. Not only can you get confused as a practitioner, but the client gets pretty overwhelmed pretty quickly. And, you know, it doesn't go down well if you've got too many things going on. So, work out one or two primary modalities and just hone in on those. The second thing is focus on results. So focus on what you solve. If you focus on what you solve, the client will be much more open to trying new modalities and be open to things like EFT and different things that you bring in. Okay? So, the, so hopefully that's answered that question. I know it's not a simple answer, unfortunately. But it's good to know this stuff because there's a tendency for practitioners to just to keep learning more and more modalities, right? And again, it kind of gets in the way after a while because there's too much going on. You're not an expert in a few. It's too, uh, you're confusing yourself and other people. So hopefully that's helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know. If you want more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And also check out my EFT training if you're interested in learning EFT. And we go much more into this type of subject. We talk about the business as well as the practice. Thank you.